Hello, welcome to our series on determinants. In this video, we will learn property number 2 of determinants. The property number 2 states that if any two rows or columns of a determinant are interchanged, then the sign of determinant changes. That is, the value of the determinant becomes negative if it was positive. It becomes positive if it was originally negative. So let's check this. So we have a determinant here A given by A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. Right? The standard expansion by row 1 of this determinant A is given here, which is A1, uh, B2, C3 minus C2, B3 minus B1, A2, C3 minus C2, A3 plus C1, that is the third element, B3, A2 minus A3, B2. Okay, this is your standard expansion. Now, let's say we derive A dash, which is the determinant derived by interchanging, say, row 1 with row 3. Right? Then this becomes B3, C3, A2, B2, C2, and A1, D1, and C1. Remember, from our earlier video, the value of determinant remains the same irrespective of which by which row or column you expand it. So this for ease of comparison, let us expand it by row 3 because we have a1, b1, c1 in the earlier expression. If we expand it by row 3, then it would be easier to compare. Let's expand and see what do we get. So we will get starting with the first element a1. So we leave these two and then do the calculation. We get b3 c2 minus c3 b2 which if you observe is the exact negative of the first term that you get in the determinant of a you will see that the same pattern follows in all the subsequent terms now let's go to the next one minus b1 into c2 a3 c2 a3 minus c3 a2 Again, this, if you see, is a negative of this number, right? Plus C1, the third term, we see it is B2 A3 minus A2 B3, which again is the negative of this term. So what do we see? We see that all three terms in the second expression as the negative of the three terms that you get in determinant of A. Hence, we can write determinant of A is equal to negative of determinant of A dash. So, hence, it is true. So, where do we use this? When we do the value of determinant using properties, we can use this when we change the interchange the row. Sometimes it is easy to calculate the determinant when we interchange the row. There we need to remember that when we, whenever we interchange the row, the value of the matrix becomes negative. Or not. That is property number 2 of determinants. Keep watching MathSmart. Subscribe to MathSmart. Thank you.